Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. You may also want to check out my mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to give you guys a very easy, very simple, and very fun method to naturally fall into the state of the wish fulfilled when you're manifesting your specific person. It's a method that you can do anytime. It's very easy. It flows along with your life, your day-to-day -day life. And hopefully, it's going to help you get into the wish fulfilled. And for those of you who might be struggling to get into the state, hopefully, that will provide a helpful tool that will allow you to feel it natural. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So we've talked in many, many videos about that state of the wish fulfilled, that end state. What is that end state? I've said many, many times that this is a state where you feel natural about your desire, where your desire feels possible, your desire feels done, your desire feels like it's going to manifest, you have that positive expectancy. And in many cases, when you get into that feeling, when you get into that state of the wish fulfilled, it actually starts feeling more neutral. It actually starts feeling um, more matter-of-factly. It's not necessarily so tainted with feelings or emotions. So today, I want to give you this tool. I want to give you this method. It's a very easy, very fun, very simple method that you can follow to help yourself get into that wish fulfilled with your specific person and feel it natural. This is going to help you get into the wishful field and actually sustain that state throughout your day, day after day. So what do you do? What is this method? What is this tool? Essentially, what you want to do is bring your specific person in imagination into your day-to-day -day life. What that means is you imagine them being there with you as you go through your day. And what that looks like, obviously, is going to vary from person to person. It depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your daily habits. It depends on your schedule. It depends on what things you do day after day. But no matter what your lifestyle is, no matter what you do, no matter who you meet, no matter what activities you engage in during the day, the beautiful thing is that you can incorporate that method regardless. So I'm going to give you some examples of that, but please understand that these are just examples. Like I just said, it's going to vary from person to person. So you're going to have to adjust it to your actual life, to your actual habits and to your actual daily activities. But let's say you get up in the morning, you make breakfast. You can imagine your SP being right there next to you, making breakfast with you. Maybe you imagine making breakfast together. And then you imagine sitting at the table and enjoying that breakfast you just made with your SP. And you have a little chit chat about the breakfast, about the food, about your day ahead, about their day ahead. Essentially, what thoughts you would be thinking anyway about your breakfast, about your day, about getting ready for work, if you're getting ready for work, or about getting ready for any other activity for the day. You want to bring your SP into that and share your thoughts in imagination with them. So instead of thinking those thoughts to yourself, Imagine your SP being right there with you, participating in whatever activity you're doing and talking to them about whatever activity it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you're about to do. As you're driving to work or as you're commuting to work, maybe you want to have a conversation with them again about the day ahead, about things that you anticipate to have to do at work. Maybe you want to imagine them telling you about their day ahead and what they anticipate doing during the day at their work. When you're getting dressed to go to work, you might want to imagine them complimenting you on your outfit, or you may want to imagine yourself complimenting them on whatever outfit they're wearing. And you want to continue that throughout the day, and the goal is to saturate yourself with the idea that your SP is here with you now. And you want to have the natural conversations that you would naturally have with them 
if they truly were with you right now, as you are getting ready for work, as you are having breakfast, as you are driving to work, and then throughout the day, you continue that to the best of your ability, of course, if you're very busy, don't feel forced to do it. But if your mind is idle for a moment or for a few minutes, then why not have an inner conversation with your SP and bring them again into your day and feel their presence. And then later on, as you go about your day, maybe you have to go to the grocery store. Imagine them coming there with you. Maybe you are going to the gym to have a workout. Well, imagine them coming to the gym with you and continue those inner conversations, continue sharing these thoughts that you would naturally have about the grocery store, about your gym, um, about how your day is going, about how the day went so far with them and make them into inner dialogues with them back and forth. Same with when you're making dinner, for example, or if you're getting ready to go out for dinner with friends, or if you're getting ready to watch a movie at night. Bring them into this. Have the natural conversations you would have with them anyway, if that was true, if they were here with you right now, sharing that same activity with you. Like I said, the goal of all that is to start saturating yourself with the idea that your specific person is here with you now. To start getting used to the idea of having them around and to start feeling natural about having them around, to start feeling natural about having day-to-day -day conversations with them in the same way that you would in the 3D if that was happening right now. And this is a very simple, very easy way to incorporate your SP into your day-to-day -day life, to incorporate your manifesting into your day-to-day -day life the way it is right now. You don't have to make any changes. As you can see, um, you can bring in your SP in any scenario, no matter what you're doing throughout your day, you can incorporate them. And then by doing that, you're training your mind to get used to the idea of having them around. And the beautiful thing about that is that you yourself start feeling more and more natural about the idea of having them around. And so this is a beautiful, very easy, very simple way to keep your SP in your life all the time or a lot of the time day after day, feel natural about their presence in your life. And the most important thing, stay in that wish fulfilled, stay in that state of naturalness of having your SP around, feel the naturalness of having natural conversations with them, day to day conversations about your day to day life. So I think this is a great way. I would encourage you to try it, especially if you're one of those people struggling to get into the state of the wish fulfilled with their specific person and see how that works for you. See how you like it, see how effective it is for you, and just try it and see where that goes. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.